Welcome back to Hasbro's Hide. A quick video on the use of Tempelac. A question that came to my mind as I'm using it on the Anil ZZ with the torch to, uh, to anneal with is am I really burning it? I know on down away from the flame I get a good reading but up near the top it just turns black and you can see in the videos I previously made where it appears to actually be burning. So what I thought I'd do as a test is take a torch and heat the bottom side and we'll see from the bottom of the uh, case up how the temperature progresses and see if it looks different in the end than it does in the conventional way of doing it inside the, on the annealing machine. So let's go ahead and heat this from the bottom up. Of course, we're doing this with conduction to avoid a direct flame on the case. And you see the steel is starting to get really, really hot, and yet it's not conducting as well to the brass yet, uh, just because it's limited surface area when you put the brass down on there. It's not a perfect contact surface, so it continues to heat, and eventually we'll get enough heat to conduct into the case. Just starting to turn at the base of the case. I don't know if you can see that well in the camera yet, but wait till it goes up just a little bit farther. The case is really beginning to conduct the heat now, and the temple act is turning color, going to clear, but there is a black edge clearly visible in the temple act. All right, I think that's enough for us to see. All right, here's a close-up of the cases after uh, annealing and after the after heat has been applied in the middle case. And so this is the one done on the anneals EZ, uh, just on the right-hand side here. And you can see how the temperature has transferred down to this, and we see the transition point of it's sort of a clear, but goes to black, and then we go right to the yellow at this point. So right there is where we should have reached 650 degrees, which is the level of temple lack that we're using. But there is some carbon heavier carbon built up here. There's clearly black black colors through this area where the flame does not directly reach. So here's the one we ran from the bottom up using only conduction. So we had the torch underneath the plate, we heated it up until the heat was conducted through the plate, through the bottom of the brass, and you can see how it moves up the case. And so you go from um, sort of a dark clearish color here, but at the edges of it it turns black nonetheless, and that's without direct flame. And then we change to a slightly different color where it's lightning, but there's still a little yellow tinge to it, or tint to it. And then you can see the transition on up. This is what the case looked like originally, painted with the Tempelac. And I put a fairly heavy uh, coating on it, um, maybe heavier than need, I don't know, I just how I brushed it twice. Uh, but you can see the difference here, and as the heat conducts up the case body. So obviously we'll throw this brass out, it's, it's not going to be any good now, but I wanted to see the difference. So our readings I think are still accurate when we have a direct flame here, it's just I wouldn't count them as accurate right in the area where the flame can directly burn off the temple like fluid, but where it would then conduct on down the case, you can get an accurate reading right at that transition point. I thought it would be useful, just curious on were we just burning or were we actually getting a good reading. And so it appears when you get out of the flame, then you can get an accurate reading.